My name is Carson. Welcome back to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be transferring from my old Craftsman toolbox into this Husky toolbox. This Husky toolbox is 52 inch. I believe the Craftsman's 26. So we're basically doubling the width. The height is not quite the same as far as drawers go, but the depth is quite a bit deeper. You can't tell here, um, but this one's about six inches further off the wall. This Craftsman toolbox has served me well. And over the years, I just expanded my tools and it's just overflowing. It's gotten to a point where I'm inefficient. And when I go to put tools away, there's not a place to put them. And so it's causing conflict, causing problems, causing me not to work on projects. So it's time for change. As I mentioned in the unboxing video, this was a hard change for me to make. Uh, this box is sentimental to me. It was gift gifted to me, the, the two black portions. I expanded on that in the red section. And I just have had a hard time letting this go. And I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna retire it to uh, be in a hardware station. So I'm gonna put all my nuts and bolts and screws and nails. All of that will be stored in here. So I think that'll be a good use. It'll continue its life here. Uh, but we'll be able to expand on it and uh, have continued room for growth. When I'm looking for a toolbox, another thing I'm looking for is it has to fit in this space. My garage is a little bit set up weird and the way the garage is set up, there's one bay door and you kind of have to come in at an angle to miss a center pole there. So really have to have the vehicles hug against this wall right here in order for them to fit and have room to work around it. So this space right here, where we've got the shelf, we want this toolbox to be able to tuck tight into here up against the wall and tight and so then the front of the vehicle is over here uh, and has more room. So this is uh, about as big as I want to go as a box and, and it's going to be really nice to have the extra storage. Um, there's a little bit of a background. Let's go ahead and pull. We're going to pull these draw liners out, put them in place. We're going to move tools from that box to this box. I'll kind of talk about what I'm putting where and why. As I mentioned in my previous video, my ideal workspace is really here to here. I don't like reaching down into the lower boxes and once we get up above eye level, it's really hard to see. So this box, hopefully we've got this as a new working space, will be more functional than that top section. And then these drawers will be really the main drawers and then all this will just be extra storage. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how far we fill it up. I do have more tools than what's just in there. Like I said, I'm overflowing on the workbenches and the storage shelves. We got our keys in here. I believe all these keys should be key to like, so let's hope uh, they are not. We've got two pin to like top and bottom boxes. Then this drawer right here, this one is keyed separate. I don't really plan on using these keys, so we will just set those to the side. We've got our power cord right here. Now in a, a typical garage, I would probably use this upper place to put my uh, drill set, Makita, Milwaukee is what I've got. Um, plug all of that stuff in up here. I've actually already got a really nice setup um, over on the other corner of the garage um, where all my stuff's stored on the wall, so I don't really need that. But that uh, is probably what I would do. Okay, we've got this whole liner deal. So you say husky on them. So it looks like you can put it in the opposite way. It won't say husky. That's probably what I'll do. I'm not super brand loyal to the husky brand. I just thought it was a good box of the price. Got the, the dog on them. You don't get a choice on those ones. Um, I've, I've seen some free liners that are pretty junk, and these are actually feel pretty decent. We'll see how they hold up, but initially they don't feel too bad. Fit well. Okay. Okay, we got the bottle open that came with it. I wish. I don't plan on putting this on, but just in looking at this, you can put the handle on this side or on the other side. I chose for the other side. 
but these holes are about a half an inch from lining up to where you could have put this on the opposite side from the handle. So that's kind of a bummer that that wasn't more universal, but not a big deal. That one. Some of these bleed through and some of them don't. I'm not sure what the difference is. I did find some foam inserts online. Um, some Kaizen foam or something similar. Uh, I think the kit was like 450, 500 bucks. Uh, but it was all pre-built, made for this particular box, which I thought was super cool. Might end up going that route. You can, that was cost for the whole box. You can order individual drawers separately. So on my Craftsman box, I did do one drawer. And I was looking through some old photos and it was like seven years ago. I can't believe it's been that long. It was one of those things that it took forever when I did it. But it is so nice opening that box and seeing everything stored like that. I think it's worth the effort uh, once you figure out a system. So I think I'll get my drawers set up, see what I like, see what drawers might benefit from that extra cost, and maybe end up going that route. I have a hard time spending 500 bucks when I just spent over a thousand bucks on this box. But uh, org organization is uh, really important. Okay, let's start on this top drawer. You can see on the side of this box here, I've got magnetic storage on the side. Again, I'm just kind of overflowing in my storage, so really need the solution. Here we've got an empty box. This is an Icon uh, Snap-on Mimic. I ended up purchasing this uh, magnetic holder from Snap-on. So I've got this Icon set. I also have a handful of these um, Snap-on screwdrivers. Uh, I love these snap-on screwdrivers. I had an old set gifted to me and uh, warranted them. I've got a separate video showing that. Um, but I love these so much, I decided to get the full Icon set. The Icon is nowhere near the same quality as the snap-on. Um, who would have guessed that? But I thought it'd be cool to order this. I think this is like 35, 40 bucks. And uh, it was like on a special. Um, but I'm a little bit disappointed in this snap-on product because you know, these screwdrivers don't really set straight in there, um, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, it's just a little bit more disorganized than I'd like. I've kind of just held on to this. I don't really need it anymore, but we'll kind of see on this box what we end up deciding to do. In the top drawer here, we had screwdrivers on this side. We have all our punches and chisels and everything on this side. We've got some picks back here. Um, I love these Klein tools. So this Klein, another Klein. So we'll, we'll uh, find a screwdriver drawer here. So we've got a Tekton pick set. Kind of has like a, a wooden, plasticky feel into those. Um, pretty decent set. Like them so far. Look at all the room for activities in here. I mean, <laughs> we're like, this drawer's like, two thirds or three quarters of the whole top of the box. And that's, that's the whole first drawer right there. I mean, I guess we got this stuff right here, but. One down. Okay, we got pliers. This one has been a drawer that's been overflowing for a long time now. I got so frustrated, I finally ditched the drawer and put most of them on my workbench. So here's my dilemma with the the uh, pliers. I do have a rack, so I might end up putting them in a rack here vertically. Here's like my one and only drawer that I ended up putting together. This thing, I used a sleeping pad, a backpacking sleeping pad foam, and uh, this thing is awesome. Um, took so much time to, to put this together, and I, I'm mad because I'm missing one of the, I can't find this needle nose plier, so that's frustrating, but there's that drawer. So we'll see if I end up laying them out or if I end up doing vertical. So this this little organizer is from Harbor Freight. I like this little organizer. I had to chop it down to get it fit. I think this one's lost its magnet. 
But I think that's how long they're supposed to be. So there. Now I kind of wish I had the full length one. But we've got 9 millimeter up to 17. We're missing, I think we go up to 19 on that set. We've got a bunch of 10 millimeters right here. These are all rusty. Not too bad actually, but these are from the um, durability test. We took like 20 different brands and uh, ran them through the gauntlet trying to see which one we could identify as being the best. Hammers. Hammers has been another problem. Um, it's a little bit small for a hammer drawer, but we'll probably do like a automotive hammer drawer. And then maybe a household one. I guess we did cut out one more liner. That worked out good for a long time and still we until we started having different dead blow hammers and now it, it doesn't quite fit so that one will probably get tossed okay on to the sockets now do i do all the sockets in here quarter three eighths half or do i split them up and put some in drawers i might put three eighths in a drawer of its own i do have some extra socket sets in this too i've got this pittsburgh set I bought that whole set for just simply for the 10 millimeter we got this whole, this is the icon set. So I bought that for the 10 millimeter. So we'll probably do, we'll stack them this way. They're just quite, they're just barely too long. I really want to get some vertical rails. I think that's the way to do that in this box. That's kind of why I picked this drawer. I think that's the way to go. Real bummed off about this set. This is the Pittsburgh Impact set, and I've lost half of them. What I really lost was the 15. The 15 is what I really need for all the Chevy stuff. This has been a great set. I love these Olsa tools. These things work great. Um, we've got stars. These are the security stars, so they are a little bit weak, but they do work in a pinch. I also have the Allens. We've got some snap-on stars and the larger sizes. Those were also warranted. Maybe we put the half inch in this lower drawer. I feel like we're getting pretty full. I don't think it'll be a problem once we have those vertical rails. But right now it probably is gonna be a problem. I'm just moving stuff over right now. I'll go through off camera and uh, get everything organized. Put all the sockets back where they need to go. And uh, like I said, eventually I'll get those rails, but um, no reason for you guys to have to watch me go through and organize everything specifically. Just trying to figure out what drawer stuff should go in. And this this one's probably about as low as I really want to go. I and mean, I, you know, this is this is convenient. That one's gonna be not too tall. Well, that's, that's fine. If it'll stay up. Some of these I have are three quarter inch drive, um, so I've got an adapter for that. I don't have any three quarter inch tools. One thing I'm learning I need more of, and it's it's fine until I go to do a project, but my extensions, a lot of my extensions, the ball bearings have fallen out, different things are wrong with them, and so it's it doesn't feel like I'm missing anything. I have plenty, but I think it's definitely time to upgrade those. We're moving through quick. Man, I feel like I have four times as much space now. Okay, drill bits. I feel like some of those could go up top here, and some of those could probably go, I don't know, I feel like, so we got two hammer drawers, maybe we move the hammer drawer so they're right on top of each other. I found a couple of hamburger places. Go away, Google. I feel like I need like a three pound sledge in there too. I know I've got a couple hanging around here in the landscape trailer and different things like that. So it feels kind of weird to put the grinder stuff in here. We also just set up the welding cart, so that might end up with the grinder. Maybe we do the grinder discs here and then the grinder in the drawer below it. This 
bottom drawer is just the miscellaneous stuff that doesn't get used anymore. Got old ratchets, old screwdrivers, stuff I just can't seem to get rid of, but haven't touched it in years. Old socket rails. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys off. I'm gonna go through and kind of sort this out, organize it, get it done, and then I'll kind of show you the end result. Well, there she is. The lid's a little bit taller, it's covering up my truck sign. That was my BHAG goal. And I've already got my 2018 Duramax truck. So I've already acquired that. So we're gonna have to replace that with another big hairy goal. Big hairy audacious goal, whatever it is. Anyways, toolbox. Words. Okay, let's bring you in closer and we'll show you what we put in the drawers. First off, we've got these magnetic markers, these labels. Um, I just had these left over from my old box. I wasn't really using them. But now that we've got employees using these. These are from Golfer or Gopher Magnets dot or TM. Gopher Magnets TM. I don't even know if they're a business. Probably bought those 10 plus years ago. Anyways, threw them on there. It'll help me know where stuff's at. It'll help the employees know where stuff's at. So that will help with organization. Top up here, got a few stickers um, that I put on magnets so those are easy to transfer. Um, move around. We've got some. This is not super organized, but this is what it is. We've got some magnetic tools, some flashlights, some razor blades. Um, I still haven't found a place for this Ryobi right set. I think what I'm going to end up doing is I've got the old toolbox. I think a few of those drawers are going to be dedicated to more construction type tools that are not mechanic tools. And so that'll work perfect to go back in that box. We've got some ear protection, um, a temperature sensor, so nothing too crazy in here. Over on the left here, I did have this uh, pry bar rack that I bought on Amazon. And so I've got some, uh, I think these are, yeah, these are snap-on. We got some snap-on pry bars, some Williams, which are a snap-on subset, I believe. Um, but I didn't have a place to put the pry bars in here, and I already had this set up anyway, so that worked out perfect. Okay, top left drawer, we got the drill bits. So we've got all of our driver bits right here assortment of drill bits. I pulled this out of my original Craftsman set. We've got a screw extractor. So kind of just miscellaneous drill bit and drivers. Next up we've got Phillips regular screwdrivers and then punches and chisels. So punches and chisels. We got our pick set right here. We've got a larger pick set. We've got our icon screwdriver set. Got a few snap-on screwdrivers here. We've got the uh, Ewing screwdrivers and uh, that's it for that drawer Okay, this drawer no label. We've got pliers pliers need a ton of work. This is my old liner um, I really need to organize this and, and get like pliers together this uh, Next pliers is down here. So we got pliers and pullers So we've got a whole bunch of pliers here Vice grips. We got a puller. Got this snap ring plier set from Icon. Not super impressed with it, um, but it is a big assortment. And we had a big job uh, doing a repair on a swell conditioner. Uh, really beat my butt, messed up my thumb. If you didn't see that video, smashed myself up pretty good. Um, so I bought that set to kind of help out with that uh, because we were just at our wits' end. Okay, we'll keep going down. We've got combination wrenches and ratchet wrenches. So here's all of our wrenches and these Harbor Freight organizers. Basically just one set. And then we've got one metric, one ratcheting metric, and then one standard. Okay, over here we've got quarter inch drive sockets. So we've got our ratchets and sockets in here. This drawer also needs quite a bit of work. Don't use quarter inch a ton. We've got kind of a miscellaneous. I'd love to use this one for something more specific with the lock on there. But right now I've got grease gun stuff, a little bit of grease, and then some oil um, specialty adapters for uh, oil filters. Next up on the big drawer, we got tap and die set and 3H drive sockets. So there's a ton of room for growth in here. I think if I get this organized, this may end up being three quarter, or three, excuse me, three eighths and half inch drive. But for now we've just got uh, standard, metric, and then a few other different bits and drivers. So this drawer looks super bare now, 
I was at a point where I didn't feel like I could buy any more tools, but now I feel like I could have a bunch more ratchets and a bunch of more specialty stuff, so this might be a problem for my tool purchasing budget coming up. Hammers and mallets. We've got our automotive hammers. I've got a set of Allen keys that are in the house right now that need to come out here and they'll go in this drawer. We've got more household type hammers in here. Below this we've got the um, grinder, sander discs, and cutting off, cut off wheels and all that. We've got a grinder, electric plug-in grinder there. So if we come over here, we've got half inch drive sockets and torque wrenches. So this drawer is actually pretty full as is. We can certainly stand these up. I think we've got, well, it might be, they're, they're tight. Depending on what kind of tray we get, it'll be tight. But this also could go up there or we could keep it here either way. Um, I honestly filled up a lot of these drawers, so I do definitely need to get these a little bit better organized. Um, so I've got more room. Some of these drawers, I mean, I mean I, I, I'm surprised that I actually filled all the drawers. Some of them are just not all the way full, like the 3.8 sockets. There's a lot of empty spaces, but everything kind of has its place, and I don't have any extra drawers, so that's kind of surprising. Here we've got our air tools and a rivet gun. So we've got rivets. We've got all our air compressor stuff. We've got our um, air chisel stuff there. There's our air chisel and then an air, air gun. I don't hardly use air stuff anymore. Um, I do have the Harbor Freight air compressor. I did a review video on that. It's been giving me some problems. It's been hiccuping on me a little bit. Um, it's never completely let me down, but it's definitely made me nervous a couple times. But it works great for um, air nailers in the house doing trim and uh, filling up bikes, filling up trailer tires. It's got the capacity. Um, I, I definitely find myself using it, but it's a, it's a perfect size. But I don't really use an impact. I've got all Makita stuff for that. We did this one. We did. Okay, so that is the whole toolbox. Do I have any regrets, remorse? Hey, you know, it's hard when you're buying something if you know what you're getting right. I, I don't. Um, I looked at the wider box, but I didn't like the drawers on it. It had a bunch of little tiny, these thin drawers, maybe even thinner. I don't really want a ton of those. Um, you just some of this stuff barely even fits in here. Um, in fact, when these I put these icons in the their original tray up here and if they were laying flat in the tray they were fine but if they were kicked up a little bit they were rubbing so not a lot of space up here so <clears throat> as far as length like I said this is kind of my parking spot for repairs between this pole here and this wall really like to have the nose kind of to the left and having this open space really helps with that and so keeping this toolbox kind of tucked in there really helps um, it does stick out a little bit further than I'd like because of the extra length but we got it tucked up nice against the wall so it's as tight as it can be and it has the extra storage that I need. Well, I'm happy. I think that'll be a wrap on this video. I do think I'm gonna do one more video on the toolbox. I'm gonna to go through and talk about my tools. I've got an assortment of brands from professional tools to Craftsman, you know, Craftsman, Harbor Freight, Icon, all the way up to Snap-on, Matco, Mac. So I've got a huge assortment of tools. So I'll kind of talk about my experiences with the tools that I've kind of shown you and maybe share uh, what I would do again differently. So that'll be a separate video, but thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay, so, means uh, cheese in Spanish. Anyways, queso means cheese in Spanish. <laughs> Let's go in here. We've got two pinned alike top and bottom boxes, then this drawer right here. 